Hello and welcome to Darkside Scenics. In this video I'll be showing you how I made this walled garden. To start I glue some balsa wood to the base for the wall supports. One side will be kept for a future project. I'm using Will's brick sheets which are cut down to the required size. I picked up these doors from eBay. I marked the position on the wall ready to be cut out. I'm using super glue here because I wanted to move on to the next stage as soon as possible. While that's drying, I give the base a quick coat of brown acrylic paint. For the brickwork pointing, I'm using Das Clay. I'm just working it into the joints, and usually a small amount of water helps. Moving on to the raised beds, I'm cutting some balsa wood to replicate railway sleepers. I used a card template and then glued the wood in layers. I used black and brown acrylic paint to create a dark brown wash. I picked up this greenhouse and cold frame kit from the local model shop. It's pretty quick and easy to put together. I'm adding an initial layer of earth texture to each raised bed. I use watered down washing up liquid and then scenic cement to hold it in place. Another raised bed area is created in the corner of the diorama. I'm using the same wash as I did for the raised beds. I then dilute the wash so I can add it to the walls. You'll notice you can see the joins in the brick sheets. These will be covered in a moment. I give the cold frames the same wash. This is a repeat of the process used on the raised beds. I'm painting the door green and then following it up with a brown wash and some weathering powder. The lintel is created by using grey paint and a small amount of watered down filler. I'm using another wheels kit for the wall capping. I start in the corner by dealing with a mitre joint and then work from there. More wet das clay is used for the pointing. I'm cutting down some thin sheets of wood to create some trellis. I'm only using a very light wash on these as I want them to appear new. This pack from Knot gives a really good selection of pots. I'm filling two of them with earth texture before adding some scenic cement. Some thin thyme twigs are then inserted into the earth texture. Some small pieces of sea foam are sprayed with layering spray before adding some dark green gauge master leaves. The sea foam is then glued onto the thyme twigs. A few more leaves are added to the gaps with the final result being two bay trees. I had some sweet corn plants left over from a previous project so I trimmed them down slightly and glued them into one of the raised beds. To create bamboo canes I'm using some florist wire. I don't want them to be perfectly straight so I'm bending them slightly before cutting them to size. I 
I give them a quick spray of brown paint and then I'll give them another coat later. A dash clay template helps to keep the canes in place while I glue them. To create runner bean plants I'm using sea foam, dark green gauge master leaves and then some red flowers sprinkled over the top. I use the same process for sweet peas but I use a larger selection of colours. I'm using a light green scatter on these seafoam plants before gluing down the lid. As I mentioned earlier, the trellis is then glued over the gaps in the brick sheets. I'm adding some ivy in the corner and for that I'm using polyfiber. It's gently teased apart before being given a spray of brown paint. As with some of the other plants, I'm using layering spray and then more of the dark green Gage Master leaves. This is fixed in place using scenic glue. Some ready made Gage Master pots are added to the greenhouse. It's now time to glue the cold frames in place and also one of the raised beds. I've marked out the position of the greenhouse, so now I'm adding some paving slabs and some gravel. As with the rest of the kit, the greenhouse roof is fixed in place with plastic cement. The door, the greenhouse and the remainder of the raised beds are then fixed in position, ready for the gravel. This is a thin layer of scenic glue and then wooden scenic gravel. The gravel is very fine, so I'm using watered down washing up liquid and scenic cement. When that's dry, I'm adding a first layer of moss and weeds around the edges. The excess is hoovered up before I start gluing down some of the pot plants. Other details include a bench, some wheelbarrows and also some milk churns. The wood I use for the trellis is also going to be used to make a potting bench. When the glue is fully dried, I use a gritty brown wash over the top. Some empty plant pots and also some earth texture is added to the top of the bench. I mixed up four different types of scatter to create weeds and greenery around the edges. A 
A second layer of earth texture is added to the runner bean and sweet pea beds. I'm using plenty of scenic cement so I can just push the canes into place. This is a laser cut kit from Scale Models for Me, so I'm just gluing the tools into place. This bed is going to have some slightly smaller plants in it. This is WWS basin glue and also 2mm static grass. I'm creating a selection of grass tufts on an oven tray just to see which one works best. Some of the tufts just need tidying up with a pair of scissors. Using a brush I'm lightly tipping the tuft in glue. I spread out these flowers quite thinly so I don't get any large clumps. The lavender plants are then glued into place alongside the edge of the bed. I'm using Woodland Scenic's fine leaf foliage to create a variety of bushes. WWS concrete weathering powder for the heavily worn areas. And finally some mid-green pigments to create streaks on the wall.